this is Eternal Blade, and welcome to part 42 of the Orc Gunwagon tutorial. So, select this edge, this edge, and this edge. Connect, and slide it back about there. Okay. And select this, this, and this. Deselect that, connect, and slide it so you have a square right there in the corner. So negative 86, which means this is going to have to be positive 86. Okay, polygon. And then we can select this, 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 oops, this, this. This, 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 this. Now we gotta create that one too, okay? Uh, select that, that, and that. Connect. And slide it upward, okay? Now select all those polygons plus these two and extrude. and extrude it until you get to that first little thing right there okay let's take more and just press okay and then move it up there. I actually have to hide some of this stuff. It's taking up too much power. Select all that. Or oops, edit a folly. Select all that. Deselect that. And uh, hide select. Okay. Uh, Next, let's hide all these things. So, alright, and hide all these. Okay, now it can actually work. So, select this vertex and drag these back until you get about the same angle right there. And uh, then we're going to want to oops, select just these polygons. So select those polygons that you had selected before. and extrude them and then bring them back down so you get a tiny little gap okay and then you're going to want to select that edge and that edge connect and press ok and slide the connection right to there and then do the same with the other side so select that edge that edge, connect, okay, and slide it over, okay, and then just to make sure, scale them on the x-axis, the vertices, okay, and select that polygon, and uh, let's see, this polygon here, and hit bridge, Okay, next you're going to want to bring this polygon back a bit. Press extrude and extrude it like so. Okay, um, then that is a poly. Cut. Cut from there to there. And from there there. Okay, then make
make sure that those cuts are lined up. So I'll select all those and scale in the X. Okay, looks good. Go into the polygon mode and select all of the polygons again. Okay, uh, extrude upward. about that high, okay, and then do a another extrude, about 1.523, and then rotate Go into the vertex mode and just line them up. So raise that, raise that, and lastly raise that. Okay. Next, go the polygons again, extrude just a tad. And, uh, and what? Oh, to fix that. Go over here first, actually, and select these and pull them right over there. So you can't see. And scale them down on the Y, and scale them on the X. Okay, then select uh, these two polygons and these two polygons and bridge. And there we go. It's sealed off and just to test to make sure everything looks right, do a test render. So you can press F9. Alright, uh, it's almost perfect except for this little thing right here. So, we can fix that by going back over here and. Well, actually, maybe that's the way it was supposed to look. Actually, I guess that's uh, good. So, go into the front view. And select these polygons here. And then press hide unselected. And then you're going to want to press hide unselected again. Go there, hide selected. Okay. Now in the vertex. Uh, section here. Uh, just hide all those too. So, hide selected. What I'm trying to do is get rid of all these so I can make this go inward here. Hide selected. Okay. So, you're going to want to grab these and grab these. Just scale them in ever so slightly. Then deselect these ones, scale these in. Deselect those, scale these in. And then just with the top ones and scale those in. So we get a kind of gradient thing going in. And on each side individually, just move them so that you get a kind of nice match going on. Okay, and that'll be it for part 42. I'll see you in part 43.